Howdy all you cowboys, cowgirls, gunfighters, and gamblers. On today's episode of Jedi TV, we're going to take a look at those Pieta Great Western II Alchemista revolvers that I hinted about on my Why I Bought a Ruger episode. Not that these Great Westerns had anything to do with that decision. I just happened to see them and buy them at the same time I bought my Sass Rugers. So we're out here at the home of the Maima Marauders, and this is my first time shooting with this club. I actually got a little bit lost on the way in here this morning. Proceed to the route. It's also my first time shooting with these revolvers, so let's hope all goes well and, well, let's just jump out there and get registered to do some cowboy action shooting. Okay, so that was pretty funny. I actually found the wrong group. It was a group of mountain men and uh, they said jump back in your time machine and head that way. So we missed the group by a little bit but we'll find the cowboy action shooters here shortly. How about following the signs there Jed? Cowboy action shooters. There's another sign. Cowboy shooting. Cowboy shooting. So, it was pretty funny. I went a little too far, and I ran into a bunch of mountain men. Yeah, so anyways, I, I, I ran into this group of mountain men, and they said, they said, jump back in your time machine. You're, you're getting close. Right? Let me get parked anywhere here. Okay, so. Now that we made it to the right place, let's get registered. Now we can do some cowboy shooting. For today's episode, I'm pairing these Great Western revolvers with my 18 inch barreled 1873 chambered in 4440. And my absolute favorite shotgun for this sport, my SKB 200E in 12 gauge, of course. Now a few things about the Pieta Great Western II Alchemista three revolvers before we get to the good, the bad, and the ugly. These revolvers with their octagon barrels are not exactly period correct peacemakers, but those barrels were and are one of the major appeals for me. Those that have watched Jedi TV over the years know that I love octagonal barrels on revolvers. In fact, it's one of the reasons, one of the many reasons, I shoot the 1851 Navy revolvers in this sport. So while these Great Westerns aren't exactly something that would come standard from the Colt factory, they are something that a cowboy or a gunslinger might have had custom ordered or custom built. Boy, those are fire freedom loads. <laughs> right? A little flame coming out of those. Yeah, that was cool. And let's face it, this sport isn't all about being historically accurate. If that was the case, the Ruger Vaquero would not be so prominent in the game. These 1873 Colt Peacemaker clones also feature the 1860 Army style grip frame. Again, something that wasn't, to my knowledge, offered back in the day. But it was, and still very much is, a popular grip frame and grip design. So this is the very first time that I've used Clear. these revolvers. Oh really? Just got them. 
Oh, really? They're new to you? Brand new to me, yeah. The Pieta Great Western Alchemistas I purchased have four and three quarter inch barrels and feature blue steel back straps with brass trigger guards. But some of these details I should probably save for the good. So this is the first time I've ever shot these. It really shows. The Great Western II Alchemista 3s come tuned up from EMF, meaning the action is smooth right out of the box. And while none of the 1851 Navy revolvers I use in competition have action work done to them, I can certainly appreciate the smooth and easy hammer pull and the crisp release of the wide setback trigger on these Great Western revolvers. The combination of heavy octagon barrel, the light pull of the easy to reach lowered hammers, and the wide trigger allowed for quicker follow-up shots. Also, while the trigger pull was light, it didn't feel too light. For me, it's very important that cowboy action shooting revolvers be able to fire black powder without fouling out, which means gumming up with black powder fouling. This will cause the cylinder to stop turning or drag and slow down the turning of the cylinder, making it harder to cock the revolver. The barrel to cylinder gap on these Pietas is opened sufficiently and they made it through an entire six stage match with the no binding and no need for any additional maintenance or lubrication on the range. Again, a requirement from me in a revolver that was met by the Pieta Great Western II. Timing and lockup on the revolvers is top notch as well. I bought them used and there is no sign of the bolt dragging on the cylinder. The bad. I was a little disappointed in the tooling marks left on the front of the cylinder, and the wood to metal fit on the grips is not perfect. Acceptable and easily repairable, but not perfect. My opinion. I think these revolvers are an excellent value and a great option for anyone looking to enter the sport of cowboy action shooting. I'm happy to have them in my arsenal of firearms for this game. And while I personally don't care for the 1860 Army grip frame, I prefer the 1851 Navy grip frame. If you have larger hands, you will probably prefer these larger Army grips. But if you have small or average sized hands, I'm sure you will still find the grips comfortable. While I don't feel like the grips were too large, I do prefer the size and feel of the Navy grips, partially because that's what I'm used to shooting. And the same goes for the sights. I prefer the cone-shaped sights of my 1851 Navy over the blade style on most single-action revolvers.
I managed to miss with these brand new revolvers twice today. Two misses. I could not bad. All right, if you all like this episode, you make sure to give it a big thumbs up by hitting that like button. Of course, let me know what you think of my new EMF Great Western revolvers. No, I can tell you right now, they won't replace my 1851s, but it's nice to have another option for cowboy action shooting. Now, if you all want to see more content like this, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. I'm Jed, this is Jedi TV, and I'll see you in some other place in some other time. More great content from Jedi TV can be found on Instagram. Please follow any or all of our pages there. I'm probably going the wrong way. What else is new? And you can support this channel at www.buymeacoffee.com slash Jedi TV. I guess that's a driving procedural.